Hello, welcome back to Steven's Garage. Today, I'm working on this 1990 Ford F-150 again, and I will be replacing the heater core. So I was driving it the other day, and you know, smoke coolant, continue driving it, and I noticed a bunch of coolant leaking out from underneath the dash. So, it's the heater core. It's very simple to do. You need to remove the glove box, which just push it in on the side. And then you need to unhook that guy, just pull that out from there. Bring it down, pull it out. And your heater core is located right behind this cover. You are going to have, what is it, seven, eight millimeter bolts that you need to take out. Located one, two, three, four, five, right up there, and six, seven. You will need to unhook this line which sits in here. You just push this up and pry it out. As well as unclip this, which sits right up here. And then the one on the side as well. And you'll be able to freely pull this out. And then slide it down, get it out of your way. And that's the heater core. Now we're gonna go under the hood and loosen up those hose clamps and take off the uh, two hoses. Okay, so here under the hood, you can already see I spilled some coolant everywhere. I've loosened the two hose clamps. So I'm just gonna pull this up and you are gonna spill coolant. So I've always just kind of set this aside and stuck the hose somewhere so it doesn't. Same thing with this guy. Just kind of put it somewhere so it's angling upwards. And we are done under here. So here inside the cab, I wedged a screwdriver on each side and pried it out. And be careful, you might wanna lay something down on your carpet because it is leaking and you might spill some out of the two hoses up top. And there you have it. That is how you remove the old heater core. I'm going to clean up that area and get it ready to put the new one in. Okay, so I got the new one pushed in. I just kind of snaked it up from the bottom, got it in place, went around under the hood to make sure that the, uh, the inlet and outlet pipes poked through. So now I'm ready to put this cover back on. Flip side goes up. Just kind of snake it up here. A little difficult to do one-handed, but there you go. Got it into place. So I'm gonna get the screws put back in, put the glove box back on, and then I'll get the uh, two hoses installed, and then we are going to bleed the system. Okay, so I got seven screws tightened down. This guy clipped up there, the wire clipped back underneath. Everything's all good to go. Just gonna put the glove box back on. So hooks down below. And then pushed up like such. And then you can't forget about the uh, little tab thing right here. Let's see if I can get the light to focus. Not the tab, the um, little screen that holds the glove box up. Let's see. Goes right back into the slot up there. Then close that. So we are done inside the cab. So you're gonna grab your screwdriver if you're using a ratchet and you want to get the hoses put back on. Just 
one and two and I'm gonna tighten the hose clamps and then grab a jug of coolant so we can bleed the system so I got the two hose clamps tightened down got my jug of coolant and you are going to want to take off your radiator cap and you're gonna run it blast the heater with that cap off until the thermostat opens up and coolant starts to flow through the um, through the heater core fire up the truck you're going to set the heater to turn that down all the way over and you want it to be pointing toward the vent that'll start blowing and you're going to keep it running and watch the temperature of course Topped off the system, waited till the hose got hot, kept an eye on the temperature gauge, had the uh, thermostat open up, had cool and flow through the whole system. So the cool level went down, topped it off, about to put the radiator cap back on. And that's how you do the heater core on this 1994 F-150. You ready to rock and roll? Tomorrow morning though, once she cools down, you do wanna check the overflow bottle, top it off as necessary. And that's how you do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button.